It does look really good. Pleasantly surprised. Welcome back to another month of real estate. Happy New Year. Um, starting off in my office, like always. It is actually a week into the new year, y'all. I started the new year with COVID. Um, I got COVID like two or three days after Christmas, and I literally just tested negative today. Today is January 7th, um, and I'm out with the client. So... I, for the first week, basically, I have onboarded, I think, five um, new buyers that are currently getting pre-approved and, you know, just doing their due diligence on that end. And so now I'm with one of them. She contacted me via Instagram. Um, she has a, a grant program that they do here in Houston, and she has to use that within a certain amount of time. So we're out on the south side of Houston right now looking at some properties. Um, we're gonna see what she likes it. So she likes it. We're viewing this townhome community. As you can see, they're still building these and they have these going up. These are the ones that we would be potentially putting a contract in on because when I talked to the guy, he said they have a May completion date. These look like they'll be done around May. Um, it's really cute nice price point she's working with about 190 to 210 is her max um, yeah so she's working with about she's pre-approved for 190 and can get some gift funds um, so the program that she has is called the lift neighborhood program and I believe it gives her $15,000 towards her um, down payment and closing cost so that is a plus but of course it has to be used within a certain amount of time so her task for me is to verify um, especially when it comes to this community if that has to be used um, by the time we're like under contract like we have to have a date set as far as contract is signed or like uh, it needs to be used by the time you know closing date um, hoping it is you know, we have to have something under contract by a certain date and not actually closing because if it has to be closed by a certain date, then this May completion isn't going to work because I think she has 60 days, 60 or 90 days. Um, so those are just a few things to verify on that. Um, and this program, is, it's like a lottery, basically. So it's not like a lottery. It is a lottery. And she was selected. So that was really good for her, pretty awesome. Um, yeah, we're gonna go look at a few more properties today. I think we have four or five total to look at. And we'll, you know, we'll see where we go from there. Y'all know how it goes, y'all already know. Good Sunday morning. Today is, is January 9th, January 9th. Sunday, 11.50 a.m., and I am headed to meet. Um, I just feel like I need to find a better way to differentiate. It's different. Y'all know the word. <laughs> that, that word has so many syllables. <laughs> um, but to differentiate my clients for y'all when I'm talking about them, because <clears throat> I just feel like sometimes I get confused in my own head, so y'all getting confused too. But anyways... I am headed to meet Shara and Isaac. They um, they were, I was working with them in December. They were looking for a lease. They were gonna move into a permit complex and they decided no, um, they're not gonna do that. So we are now hitting the ground looking for homes to purchase, which I think is, of course I think that's the best thing, right? I'm a real estate agent, I wanna sell a house. I'd rather sell a house than lease a house, but whatever. Um, but just even overall with everything, you know, they, they have the funds. They just needed to work out the timing. The timing has been worked out. So now we're looking um, at new construction communities. Um, so back in, I guess, late November, 
we had went to um, a Shea Homes community and they really liked the they really liked that builder and just everything that they had to offer and, and at that time the builder told us that they were going to be opening another community in a location that they preferred a little bit more so they were kind of waiting on that but their lease ends in May of this year 2022 um, and y'all know to build a home I talked to one builder and they said 10 months so it's you know time time frame right so i'm taking them to another community that's kind of in that same area and gonna go check them out and see if they like them but that other the shea homes that's supposed to be opening up when you go to their website it says coming soon so it definitely is coming so that's progress from when we originally found out about it because it wasn't even on the website um but who knows when coming soon will actually be here <laughs> so i'm just having them look at some other options other new communities and see if they find anything else um and hopefully get them under contract by the end of the month on something to build or even potentially an inventory or spec home so that's what we're doing today the weather kind of sucks I didn't bring a jacket, nor do I own an umbrella. Okay, but let's go, y'all. Okay, y'all. So I've made it to the community. There's two builders over here. Toll Brothers and TriPoint. I'm at the Toll Brothers um, model homes. Out of their price points. But I just want y'all to see this. Did y'all see this shower? That's the shower. See, we'll get pregnant in this shower. Oh, God. <laughs> this is what we need. This will get us pregnant. This right here. Okay, so this community is not it for Isaac and Shara. Tripoint Homes, I think I was telling y'all they have two builders over here. <clears throat> TriPoint Homes didn't really have a floor plan that was, you know, just like perfect for them. Not that any floor plan is really ever perfect, but, you know, just didn't have what they were looking for. And then um, Toll Brothers, of course, they had, honey, they had, but it's just way above what they're wanting to spend, you know. Their max budget really is like 400 um, They have homes, base price, of course, starting off at 380 but once you start adding in lot premiums, you know, and just every other type of upgrade that you can do or that most people are going to want to do, that was putting the prices of the homes well into like mid 400s, dang near 500,000. So um, we appreciate Lakes at Creekside for the tour. We're about to head to another community. It's called Amira. They have, I think, Beezer builds over there in Perry Homes. So we're gonna go check them out. Um, but just from talking to them, I think they're really waiting on one for that Shea Home community to come about. And then there's another community opening up in Cyprus pretty soon. They're currently building all of their model homes over there right now. And that's a really big master plan community with about 10 different builders. So I think it's gonna boil down to one of those communities for them. So, but until then, you know, we're just gonna see what they like and they can really have a good idea of what builders have to offer, price points look like, locations look like, and, and so on. So let's go. All right, we're gonna take a look at this one. This will be completed in March. Oh, the elevation looks good. Yeah, the stone and the brick, I like the tan. I like the floor, it's tile. Yeah, the wood. Oh, yeah. It shares a bath, single sink, standard. Okay, it does have the tall eight foot doors. Mm hmm. Okay. 
laundry. This is another bedroom? Yeah. That's a good size. This is dining space. There's a room. This is the dining If you need to be in the office, you can always close it up. Okay, because that's the Hold up. Get a room whatever. Good size patio. Mm -hmm. So this is the extended or not? This is the extended. That's the fully extended. Okay. You might have done the grass on the side. Backyard with extended covered patio. Of course, this will be grass. We're gonna have to make sure that it's graded and then they have sewage because, as we can see, the water. Lord! Hold on. We have to take the eight grand off because it'll work. Of course, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. You think I, you're nervous more than me? <laughs> I want you happy, so I got this. Was it a conventional loan or was it a... You're doing conventional loan, aren't you? Know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you're well, doing a conventional loan? Doing a VA loan? Or no. FHA. FHA, mm -hmm. FHA limits. Uh, what are the new FHA limits? Yeah, I need a margarita. Hell yeah. That's not how you should be feeling when you're buying a home. Like, I think everybody feels like that when they're first like. Until it's done. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Good Tuesday morning, January 11th. Y'all, these realtors, I say it all the time, all realtors are not made equally. These people that like the easiest thing to do is just respond to an email. All like, if I send you a contract, all you have to do is respond and say, receive, just not hard, not hard. So I sent Jessica's contract yesterday, a good solid 24 hours ago. In my emails, I always say, please confirm receipt. Just let me know that you got this. Let me know it could have accidentally went to junk, like whatever. Called the man yesterday, he ain't answer. Called the man this morning, he ain't answer. About two hours later now, he calls me back. Oh, yeah, I got it. I printed it out. I put it on my seller's desk, just waiting for him to review it and sign it. You don't think you should let me know? Like, I'm I'm over here texting my client. Well, he not responding, so let's keep let's keep it pushing. Let's keep looking. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> good morning. <laughs> oh, y'all. Um... So, it's just, you know, just Tuesday morning, and every morning I go into my CRM, and I just do little daily tasks that I need to do, touch bases with clients that, you know, I've talked to, just like whatever I need to do as far as like clientele for the day, sending emails, you know, updates, just whatever. Um, I was emailing Valerie, my um, transaction coordinator. Um, getting her up to date with all my new brokerage information, you know, have her get on these contracts that um, I'm working on. And then um, there's a gentleman that I talked to um, in December that wanted to list his house. So I'm currently in the mix of sending a text message email. I called and left a voicemail to get in touch with him to see if he's ready to get this house listed for sale. Um... And then that's that's really it for the for the day. Sharon Ike are officially under contract. Got that contract from um, the sales agent over at Perry Home yesterday, so that's good. Um, might go look at just some more new construction out about in the um, area today. <clears throat> um, potentially onboarded another client last night. Just have to see if you know they can get through the pre-approval process. Um, once again, like always, shout out to all y'all that, you know, just really, really reach out to me from, um, from, from the YouTube and social media. It's always appreciated. So 
yeah, that's that's the update that we're working with. Um, yeah, that's it. Let me get back to work. All right, y'all. I've been stalking this neighborhood in Cyprus that's been coming soon for a long time, and some of them are finally here. I'm on um, Model Home Row, is what I like to call the streets. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. They have Lennar. Looks like it might be open in Dr. Horton. So this same front door on it was like the handle set. Okay. So like I said, the finish out is really nice. Okay. Sixty foot lots, right? Yep, sixty mm -hmm. foot. So you have down here two bedrooms, a bathroom, and this is a study, but it will have glass French doors on it. Okay. The built-ins are just something we're showing you what you could do, but big yeah, office. of course. Yeah, this is a really good size. What are the yeah, ceiling this heights? The tile. This is all nine foot plate, then 10 foot in all the other areas. Okay. And he's taking the subway top and the ceilings. That's going to be in all the homes. That's going to be standard. Photo. Okay. Quartz countertops in the bathrooms. Okay. There's the flooring, the cabinet. There's two different colors. Okay. All the fixtures you see are the nice Moen, but the more modern ones. What's the other color option for um, the... The cabinet would be a polar white, so like a bright shade white, white okay. with a with a French oak looking floor. It's really pretty. Okay, French oak is that that like light light brown? Yeah, yeah. it's really good. And the package that I have that with in the kitchen, it's a royal blue island. Oh wow! And a polar white two tone, mm -hmm. but the island we do it now where it wraps around the whole back mm -hmm. like a big furniture piece. Yeah, and then the the backsplash is. Calcutta Carrera mm -hmm. quartz, yeah. that seamless that goes up on the backsplash and the countertop. It looks really nice. Yeah. Great, I mean, great size bedroom. Yeah, the for rooms. Yeah, size. these are really good size rooms. Let's check out the closet. Pretty standard. Yep, yep standard closet, but good for secondary. Mm -hmm. This is a nice big double door closet here. So I like that store, you know, store and stuff, of course, but yeah, nice big mm -hmm. closet. Okay. And then all the ones of these that I'm building will have eight foot doors on the inside and five inch baseboards throughout too, which will look even better. Okay. Let's see, this is all. Wow. This is the sink that comes from all the home with the fixtures, LED undercabinet lighting. Shaker cabinet, soft closed doors, all the good stuff. Appliances? Yeah, everything Standard. but the fridge. Okay. Island. Yeah, this island is really big. Oh wow, y'all have the oh I love the black. Oh my goodness. Covered patios on the home, and this is the size of covered patio on this floor plan. Okay. And this oh, is I, the see, size I skipped this but whole hallway. <clears throat> okay, so all right, yep, all the way up to the ceiling. And that's the biggest of the three bedrooms for the guest. This room is bigger? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, kind of, yeah. That's a queen size bed. Yep, standard closet. Nice big utility with a little bit of extra space for it. Deep freezer, mm -hmm. refrigerator, or pet. <laughs> <laughs> you not believe how many people want a space for their you know i have two dogs and i i i just every time somebody's like oh yeah i could throw my dog in there i'm like oh my baby sleeps in my bed with me so <laughs> i'm just like uh-uh he wouldn't even go for it okay good size room mm -hmm. so you can put your bed here or in between the two windows i've seen it both ways okay king size could fit over there yeah california king it's wide enough okay yeah this is nice yes, that's why i say in this we you have the charcoal tile, the brick pattern, the subway tile. Oh, okay, yeah. Fresh. Oh, this closet. Jesus. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. This is a good, oh my gosh. Yes. So I have one of these for 430, 485. 430. So under the price point. Yep. And let's see this lot out here. So this is standard size standard, patio. Yeah, 60 by 120. 60 by 120. Definitely good size. It's a great patio. Not bad. This is 20, 20, 20, 26, 20 square feet. I like how the t I I like this layout a lot. Yeah. Love this. Yeah, 
all of my okay so uh lenar was closed maybe our horton now this floor plan is amazing so standard door it's a smart home comes with all the smart stuff hey y'all welcome back to another day it's friday the 14th and i have some bummerish news jessica has decided not to move forward on the condo that we got her under contract on um her lender had been out with covid so she wasn't able to get um jessica a closing estimate sheet until last night so which breaks down how much she would have to bring um to the closing table and what her monthly mortgage estimate would look like um it came out to about 1460 um the property remember was 2049 um and she was putting down about 15,000 cash because she was approved for 190 i'm just walking around here <laughs> about to vacuum my house um but you know she's just she's a young lady in in grad school working on her doctorates you know working all of that stuff and you know she's 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 just on the amount of income that she can work with so she was comfortable paying a mortgage maybe about 12 1300 um and the estimate like i said was closer to 1500 so that number just has really it shook her up a little bit you know she doesn't feel like it's realistic and then even with considering um, being able to apply for homestead once she closes, because laws in Texas have changed, you no longer have to wait until the next year. You can apply as soon as you close. So that would have given her the, the tax cut about 20% off the uh, appraised value. Um, you know, getting a different mortgage, um, not mortgage, getting a different insurance quote, home insurance quote. She had it quoted on there for about a thousand a year, which, you know, potentially could have found something cheaper. Um, and then also the HOA was 150 a month, which wasn't horrible. Um, but of course, a lot of townhomes and condo complexes are going to have higher HOA fees because they take care of the grounds, you know, um, gated community, just all of that. And this was honestly one of the the cheapest one that we had seen. And then the tax rate was still pretty low, um, 2.68, which is really great. So, but you know, just with everything, she just felt like it was too much. So we're gonna go ahead and terminate that contract. Um, she's a little sad. So, you know, I tried, I tried to cheer her up, you know, as much as possible, but you know, I understand it's it's a nice property. She got excited about it, but you you have to do what's best for you and your finances because once once me and you were done with the contract, I'm not paying your bills. <laughs> you know, like so I I can't help with that portion of it. So you have to be very mindful, you know, and make sure that you know that amount of money is going to work for you. So I've talked to her about maybe considering some other type of prop properties, you know, like one bedroom condos, just something that's going to get her, you know, below. Well, of course, approved for she's approved for one ninety, but I I want to get her below like some like between one sixty one eighty realistically. Um, so then she has the wiggle room to add in taxes, HOA, um, and that might put her like around that 1300 number that she's just more comfortable with. Um, so that is that for this morning. Um, I have a lunch meeting in an hour and 20 minutes and I'm over here trying to vacuum. Clearly I'm going to be late. But I want a vacuum, so let's go. Know that we have that many. I am expecting some of them are, you know, newer agents, and it's a huge accomplishment. And I just want you guys to know that I'm so proud, and we're gonna have so much fun on our trip. <laughs> um, but you know, this is <laughs> this is um, our first year, obviously. So every year, I wanted to kind of start a tradition to have, you know, our MVP, right? And um, I thought a lot about who I wanted our MVP to be this year. And, you know, this person um, is obviously uh, a beast. <laughs> and, you know, I think we all know, kind of have an idea of who that is once I say that, right? So our MVP for this year at Next Gen Real Estate is Michael Stavrohoff. <laughs> Hello, good 
people happy sunday today is january 15th it's about 1 15 ish and i am at an open house i said going into this year that i was going to start doing more open houses um just you know to, to work towards some goals that i have um i'm trying to increase my price point as far as you know um the price point of the homes that i'm working with as far as buyers and sellers um, and then just being more active and it's just, you know, it's another old school, old G way of obtaining clientele. You know, a lot of people will go to open houses and just browse before they actually connect with the realtor. So this is a good way to do that. Um, there's actually people here right now. They're upstairs. They're here with their realtor. So that tends to happen a lot too. Um, this is a listing that someone at my brokerage has. It's a three bedroom, three and a half bath town home. Not town home, it's a single family home in Spring Branch for 460000 So I'm going to be here um, for like another 45 minutes and then I have some um, rentals to show a little later. Yay. Hey YouTube, it's Wednesday, July 19th. <laughs> Kiki just went with a client, but they did. $35,000. $35,000 on top of the Costa house just for the lot. Was there no other lots? Yeah. There were plenty. There were lots with no premium. But they wanted that. Why? It's a. It's not even a true cul-de-sac. I'm not really sure. And the crazy part about it is it's most of a side yard than it is a backyard. It's one of those fake cul-de-sacs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't talk to you. <laughs> Y'all. Come on, flabbergasted. Flabbergasted and perplexed it. Is. So, how much was the house? Uh, base price. 490 <laughs> I mean. Do you? And they got which house? Not the toll brother? They tripping, dog. They tripping. <laughs> They tripped out on $35,000. That's zero, ridiculous, y'all. But congrats to Kiki. She'll see that commission in like a year. My first new construction. Yay. It is. It Yay. Is. <laughs> Hello, good people. Today is January 21st. January is not like flying by. Um, not that I'm like in a rush or anything, but you know, normally I just feel like these months are just like zooming by and I feel like January has been like at a good pace. So hopefully this entire year will go at this just like cruising pace. I'm not too mad at it. Um, anyways, I am on my way to go meet up with Jessica. Um, to look at a property on the south side of Houston, um, you know, and, and, and see, you know, where, where she's at with everything. You know, we had to kind of reconvene. I, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned, you know, we went under contract on a property for her, and then she had um, second thoughts and decided she didn't want to move forward with the property just because of price point and things like that. Um, so she's been uh, pretty much just looking online and. I told her what price point we would have to get to to kind of get her mortgage to a comfortable space. And so I've been sending her properties like that. And I think she's come to realize that, um, you know, she's not going to really get anything that she just loves. Or it's not even necessarily loves, but just something that she's going to be comfortable purchasing, right? Um, so I'm going to go look at this house and just see where her mind is at. We may go look at another one. I'm actually waiting for the agent to call me back um, because the listing still says active, but in the notes, it says that um, they called for highest and best offers on the 18th. So that was what, a couple of days ago. So <clears throat> I don't want to drive out there to go see this property if they're not, you know, still currently accepting offers. So that's all that's really going on today. Um, I still just have a lot of people 
that are, I don't even necessarily want to say limbo, but just like working on, you know, getting their pre-approval amounts to where they want to be um, to start the home shopping process. So the month is, or really the year, I guess we could say, is getting off to a slower pace than I would like, but I mean, I've still got things under contract this month so far, so it's not bad. Um, but I have big goals <laughs> this year. Big, 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 big goals. So the, the upside, the benefit is, is I've had a lot of consultations this month. So really getting people just in the pop the pipeline for throughout the year. I've had people that called me, um, have reached out that are wanting to, you know, move here closer towards the end of the year. They just want to know what they need to get started. So um, you know, I just I just look at all of that as a positive. So that is good. Um, anyways, I'll show y'all this property when I get out there. It's, you know if it's anything worth really taking a look at i've been trying to um i guess you could say vlog less about these because these vlogs be long <laughs> um and it's because i want to give y'all a lot of information i really want y'all to understand what the process is like but also like i watch my own vlogs of course i feel like i could kind of cut back on just like some things i'm trying to make them like an hour or less a whole month of real estate like an hour and a half really isn't bad to be sure y'all a month and a half a month full of stuff but if i can get them under an hour <laughs> i would be okay <laughs> tell me what y'all think be y'all mind you know it just may take y'all a couple of days to watch it like whatever whatever <laughs> good morning youtube uh, how are you all doing today today is january 27th 8 50 a.m in my office, my mobile office. <laughs> um, right now I am headed to meet Shara and Isaac at their design center appointment. So if y'all remember, uh, maybe about two weeks or so ago, um, they went under contract on a Perry home that they are going to be um, building from stage one all the way up. It was not an inventory home. So they have great opportunity to go to the design center and pick out structural designs, finishes, you know, all of that stuff. Um, they have an appointment today and tomorrow. I'm going to try to be present for the one tomorrow as well, just depending on how today goes. Um, so yeah, so my job when we go to the design center definitely is not to tell them what to pick and choose in their home, you know, like their house, they pick and choose what they want. But more so my job is just to make sure that the salesperson there is being super transparent about what it is and not just really trying to like upsell them on things that they really may or may not need. Give my professional advice on, you know, things that they should really have done during the build of their home or things they can do like aftermarket, after the fact, after they close on their home. Um, you know, just, just keep them on the straight and narrow <laughs> you know and also like you know make sure that they don't like go over budget you know like super crazy because you can go into these design centers and easily easily add another hundred grand on top of the base price of your home right so you know just i'm just there as just like a, a sounding board for them like oh like said do you think we should add outlets to the floor like do you really need that? Sorry about the lighting, y'all. Um, do you really think you need, like, outlets on the floor? You know, like, oh, should we should we have a full, like, Baja shower and take out the tub? Or, you know, like, remind them of things that are, you know, that they may not personally want, but things that would be good for resale value later down the road. You know, just, like, it just this that type of stuff, y'all. I am just there to be, you know, their professional real estate agent and put in advice and comments um, when I feel like they may need it. So, uh, yeah, I've never actually been to a Perry Homes Design Center, so I don't know exactly what their process is. Um, so this will be a learning experience for all of this. I have been to other design centers before and they're pretty much all the same, so I'm assuming it's all the same. Um, but of course, if I can get some footage of all of that today, um, I will show y'all. 
Um, and that's really it. Like this has kind of been, I don't want to say like necessarily a slow month because I have been really busy this month just like onboarding a lot of clients. I'm getting clients in the pipeline um, and they're just really staggered out throughout the year, which is really good. Um, so no closings this month, <laughs> which is kind of sad because um, I didn't have any closings in December either. Um, that's the thing about real estate, y'all. Like, you know, like you have money, right? Like it's in the pipeline, like contracts are there, but you don't get paid until closing day. So you really do have to be super responsible with how you, um, you know, you just plan out your finances, uh, just to throw in a little personal. But, you know, we'll, we'll have a closing in February. We should be closing on Antonio's home in February. Hopefully getting Jessica under contract. Oh, yes, let me give y'all the update on Jessica. Um, so, y'all remember we went under contract and she decided to terminate the contract because she just wasn't feeling um, secure enough to move forward with the cost of the home and what her monthly mortgage will be or whatever, right? So, now I'm... Um, with the lift program that she has. It's called the Houston Neighborhood Lift Program. And it's a grant. They give you $15,000 towards your closing costs and all of that stuff. Of course, there's stipulations. The stipulations on this particular program. And this is a lottery program. Um, she can't sell the home within five years. She can't refinance it. You know, so like she has, for her to not have to pay back that $15,000, she has to keep her financing situation the way it is for the first five years of living in that home. Um, so she was working with Chase Bank as their lend as her lender. Um, but you know, like I, I say it all the time, you know, like of course I have my preferred lenders that I work with, um, but you you choose who you want. But with their neighborhood lift program, they only have certain lenders that they allow to process, you know, that grant. And I think it was like a list of ten. So she chose Chase Bank before she ever um, reached out and talked to me. And, you know, we were working with the lady, but it's very just transactional. You know, I don't really know another way to say because I don't want to say that the woman's not, you know, like I call, she answers, whatever. But it's just there's no like personal touch to it. Um, and that's why we have our preferred lenders because you, you gain this this personal relationship and you know like you're able to just really talk to them about what it is that your client wants the important things that matter to them and you know then they gain they build their own relationship with the client and so on and so on so it's just although this is a business transaction you know like working with a lender um, that you have a relationship with also just adds a really nice personal touch to it so your client can feel really comfortable um, so I asked her to send me the list of lenders that um, can process the neighborhood lift. And it doesn't say like actual like office and name of the lender, but it just says like the company, right? Like so the list had about 10 different um, lenders on there and there was two, um, Prime Lending and NRL Mortgage. And I know two lenders that both work for those companies. So that means they would be able to process the program, the neighborhood lift program for her. Um, so I reached out to one of them. This one, remember, um, I think this was November's vlog. Actually, I might not have even posted. Oh, yeah, I haven't even posted it yet, I don't think, but it will be posted by the time I see this. Um, I was talking about uh, Cameron that was working on Brittany's loan, right? Remember, everything was just kind of getting pushed back, delayed, delayed, delayed. And I really liked him. Like, I was really a fan of his communication. The delays that we were having were nothing of, you know, his own fault. Um, so he is with Prime Lending. So I reached out to him um, to see if he can help um, process um, Jessica's transaction. And he is. Jessica was also looking for a lender. The, re the reason why we kind of moved away from Chase Bank is because, but, but, you know, they're just this big old corporation that, you know, is going to do like the bare minimum. You know, they're not really going to go above and beyond to find you any other real assistance or down payment, other down payment programs that you can stack and things like that. You know, and that's what Jessica was really looking for. So I paired her up with um, Cameron. You know, they do all the other down payment assistance programs plus the one that she's already approved for. So he'll be able to stack. You know, I explained to him, you know, where she wants her monthly mortgage to be. Um, you know, 
the HOA fees that were more than likely going to incur just everything so he could really break it down to her and say okay with all these different variables this is this is where you'll land at this price point so I think she's feeling hopefully a lot more comfortable with that knowing that you know she can get the other assistance she'll be able to get, get funds from her parents if need be um, and hopefully we'll still be able to find um, a house within the price point and then speaking of that how long have I been talking I told you I was trying to limit <laughs> the length of these videos um, but so there are nonprofit organizations probably everywhere honestly but there's some nonprofit organizations here in Houston that build homes right in communities that are you know underserved and low income and all of that so they build these homes um, but they don't put them on the MLS you know they keep them off of the market so everybody doesn't just really have access to them so they they sell these homes to people that you know qualify for certain you know low income you know certain qualifications like you can income qualifications and all kind of stuff like that so with Jessica qualifying for that neighborhood lift program she also she also qualifies to purchase one of these um, nonprofit organization off the market homes so I reached out to those people uh, doo -doo -doo. I reached out to them with like two days ago actually Jessica put me in touch she's like I called this person called this person and you know whatever so then I did all the heavy lifting I guess you could say um, and I, I got I got a, about a, 10 homes that are on the market that could potentially fall in a good price point for Jessica but right now she's a little sick so once she's feeling better we can actually get out and go look at those homes and see if any of them is something that she like and these are all new construction homes um, so yeah um, I'm feeling I'm feeling positive I think she's still feeling pretty positive um, and we're gonna get her under contract hopefully you know in the month of February <laughs> all right y'all two minutes away from this design center I've been talking for 10 minutes 11 minutes now check in later <laughs> right that's the thing like with that like that's like the statement to me right you know and then everything else you kind of like absolutely which you might absolutely love for three years but yeah but this you can also do like gold accents silver accents like you have a lot of choices with this? that you don't have to mean I mean, it's, it's not a blank slate with this, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then you can go a little more. So here you could actually come in with a rug that looks like that, and now you've still got the same statement yeah. for two years if you want to change out the rug. Exactly. Mm. Right okay. So is there... In a specialty color, that would be 250 If you want to do the whole kitchen in a specialty color, that's 500 I like that dark Which one? Espresso. That's yeah, why you so got it. Uh, so, okay, so here's the thing. If you do your whole kitchen in an espresso, standard. If you mix and match paint with wood, it's a $100 upgrade. Oh, I mean, I right. Like that. And that's so kind of like a tote. Yep. It's a little different now. What is that? That's that color? It's, it's supposed to be, but they changed companies on how they paint. So and yeah, that's so. The true color. Yeah. So like the bottom of the island would be that gray. Right. That's oh, a nice little pop. Two thousand. Two thousand. Because the ones I would want are over are, there. Yeah. Well, quartz is more expensive than granite. So all of these are granite. So those are all granites. Mm -hmm. These are all quartz. Quartz. Well, except for the last two rows, and those are only for bathrooms. Those are engineered marbles. Oh, okay. So you're from. So even I mean, but this granite over there. Oh, these are all granite level four, which is level five. Of the quartz. Of the quartz. And this is the granite. And these are all mixed up. There's threes, fours, and fives in here also. Oh, look at this. So what is that? That's a quartzite. Of course. They're really pretty. That's what's on that island over there. So which one's higher, you think? That's higher over there? Quartz? Quartz. No, so they're just in levels. So you have level three, four, and five. You have level three, four, and five. Pricing is the same, though? So these Price are all five for quartz. Hmm? These are all five for That's granite. Yeah. Granite. But there, some of those are marble and that makes it fun. Oh, that would be fun. There's another one that's really pretty. It's called bone. 
And bone is really pretty too with your colors. I yeah. Yeah. And I have it in the, so that's what's installed out there. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. so it is yeah. It is. So, oh, okay. Wanna, yeah. Our wanna, standards are what's trending right now. Yeah. So it's not all this hard. These are all of the backsplash options. Drawers full of backsplashes. So, would you want Okay, y'all. Design center appointment day one. <laughs> has went pretty good um they selected <laughs> they selected quite a few things so they got ten thousand dollars towards their design center appointment right so the the builder gives them a ten thousand dollar credit <laughs> as of right now they have selected eighteen thousand dollars in design stuff and um we still have to come back tomorrow to finish a few selections <sighs> mostly like some more simpler things um a few like bathroom fixtures front door um i think maybe a few structural things um and then they have to like kind of finalize everything if they have to do a third appointment they charge them like 250 dollars to come back again to do a third appointment so um they're gonna go home tonight and look at everything that they've selected and see what is like a must-have and what is not um because with perry homes design center once you go over the ten thousand dollars that they give you anything else <clears throat> everything else you have to do a 50 percent um down payment so if you know they keep everything basically if we get to twenty thousand dollars total um they'll have to put five thousand dollars down tomorrow um to start you know the build with all the designs that they've chose and honestly i think everything that they are choosing is um it's relatively like it's not really like over the top um a lot of it is just kind of like functional like you know like pot drawers and your cabinets and just a lot of little things um so we'll we'll see what they decide but i'll be back tomorrow um to just kind of help them you know decision make um, they did ask me you know my opinion on quite a few things so um i i am useful <laughs> and even the the lady in there um she was like you know most realtors are annoying when they come in here and you know they just kind of take over she's like she's like i like you like everybody's always like you're you're so chill you know like you give your opinion but you're not and i'm like yeah that's just that's just who i am i guess you know whatever um but okay i need to grab some food and then go do this um, photo shoot. Photo shoot. <laughs> it's photo shoot time, y'all. There's Angela, my photographer. Y'all need to follow her on YouTube. She gives you all the fashion tips. And there's Nikki. Say hi. That's Nikki, y'all. I'm gonna drop their um, Nikki. <laughs> I'm gonna drop all their um, Instagram handles and everything below. But Angela found the cutest hotel downtown Houston to get some looks. All right, photo shoot is done. Um, got all the pictures that I needed. Got a lot of B-roll for Nick. Me and Nick are going to meet back up on Monday. Because um, originally I told him I wasn't going to do any sit-down videos and talking and stuff. So he didn't have his microphone and all that other stuff. Because of course, you know, of course. Like, why wouldn't I change my mind last minute? Why, why not? Um, so we're going to meet back up Monday because I... Um, I do I want to I want to talk <laughs> so he didn't have his equipment that he needed for that but other than that um, it went really smooth like always I love working with Nick and Angela like they're they're just so awesome together um, so yeah it is 3 21 now I have literally like 20 emails that I need to respond to. So I'm gonna get back home, wash my face, and um, just touch bases with um, all these people that have been emailing and calling and doing all that stuff all day because I just haven't had the time today, clearly, to, to be on my device. So, yeah, y'all, it's another day in real estate. Um, tomorrow, back 
at the design center. Good morning. It's the day after yesterday. It's chilly. We're back at the design center to finish up today. Let's see what happens. I do, which I did not put on your order. Which one? It's soft clothes. It was not on your order, so no. that gets added Our on about seven hundred dollars. No, 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 that's soft clothes. Um, kitchen cabinets, the, uh, kitchen countertop, bathroom stuff. All right, done with the design center appointment. <clears throat> We, <laughs> there was a little bit of back and forth between hubby and wife on, you know, what they were going to do, what they weren't going to do. Wife really, really, really wanted, like, sliding doors to the patio. It was an additional $8,000. Hubby didn't want it. So they came to an agreement. They cut back on a lot of other things. And, um, she got her sliding doors. <laughs> it's going to look so good, though, y'all. And the, um the countertops that they picked for the kitchen. They went ahead and did two different colors. Oh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm excited about it. I can't wait to see it, so. But they won't be closing until like, I think July, September, some, somewhere around there, so. Anyways, now I'm here at um, Next Gen's ribbon cutting, so. <clears throat> as y'all can see. Oh, this car's in the way. Hold on. So this is going to be a new development, building a hundred properties over here, townhome, communities, or just single family homes, I'm not really sure. I'm here for the ribbon cutting. Alright, ribbon cutting ceremony is beginning. Before it goes to um, the office, Good Saturday morning, good people. Saturday, January 29th. Um, the month is coming to an end, as y'all can see. But I have a buyer consultation this morning. I mean, January has been full of just like, this camera. Okay. January has just been full of onboarding clients. Um, I have people wanting to buy next month. I have people want like literally a whole bunch of clients just staggered throughout the year. So, um, just, you know, a goal of mine, just when it comes to buying consultations and talking to folks is just, you know, making sure that I'm up with their time frame. I'm saying communication, working with the people that, you know, are immediate and just nurturing the ones that, um, you know, are just kind of picking my brain and, you know, just making sure I'm staying in touch and, you know, all of that good stuff. So we'll see what um, this lady wants to discuss today um, in the notes. Like when you sign up to do a consultation, there's a part where you can put notes and um, says, you know, she's brand new to the process. Um, so I'm sure she just kind of wants to know like where she needs to start. Um, and then my goal is to find out like what your time frame is and then send you in the right direction from there. That's really what um, the consultations consist of. If she's already pre-approved, then we'll, you know, go into more detail of other things. So I'm gonna hop on the Zoom now, get that done. And um, that might really just be it for the end of the month, but I'll give y'all an update of how this goes and then we'll see if we end up a block from there. All right, that consultation went really good. Um, I tell you all the time, I'm just always, I be in shock and awe every time somebody wants to work with me. I'm like, oh, little old me. Um, but that is actually a, a long, that was actually the young lady that I thought it was that I went to um, 
high school with for sure, like ninth grade. I can't remember if we were in middle school together, but you know, she was like, yeah, you know, I, I saw you on the social media and I knew that as soon as I was ready, I was going to work with you. So it's awesome. So she is, she's, she's ready. She, she checks every box. So, um, I just told her, you know, we have to get her pre-approved and then as soon as she gets pre-approved, you know, we figure out what price point she wants to be in. She's already told me what neighborhood she's interested in. Um, we'll be good to go. She's not necessarily in a rush, but she wants to be in a home by June. So that gives us, that gives us a good amount of time, even if we have to find new construction that's currently being built or just, um, resale. So I'm excited. Uh, I, I like it. I like it.